Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's been a busy week for Microsoft this last week. We have rolled out updates to basically every channel of Windows 11 in the inside and also the stable channels. And uh, um, when it comes to the Canary and the beta channels, um, there's no exception this week. They've also received new builds, which Microsoft rolled out overnight in my region. Now, um, first of all, just focusing on the Canary channel, which was bumped up to build 25375. And this week, there's not actually too much going on when it comes to front-facing features in the Canary and the beta channel. So what I thought we could do is just collate um, some of the highlights and some of the improvements uh, into one video because we do like to keep you updated and informed on the channel. Now, and um, when it comes to hot off the presses features for build 25375, there's only one new feature that's rolled out. And it's mainly focusing um, um, on endpoint for um, businesses and enterprises. But um, just to mention this quickly, there is now support for Microsoft Endpoint DLP on Windows on ARM64 builds. And DLP stands for Data Loss Prevention Policies. Um, which allows you to detect and protect sensitive data in files that are part of your digital ecosystem. So that's um, support for Microsoft Endpoint data, data Loss Prevention Policies on Windows on ARM64 builds, now rolling out to build 25375 in the Canary channel. Now, um, just a quick update ab about the actual Canary channel, just to keep reminding you from time to time if you are testing features in the Canary channel. Microsoft says the Canary channel is the place to preview platform changes that re require longer lead time before getting released to customers. And as I would say, it's your first point of call where brand new features are tested. And because of this, Microsoft says these builds could include major issues that could result in not being able to use your PC correctly or even in some rare cases require you to reinstall Windows. So just and bear that in mind if you are testing features in the Canary channel. Now, moving on to the beta channel, um, which got two brand new builds this week, build 22621 and 22631.1825. And um, that was with the update KB5026440. Now, and um, once again, the beta channel, as mentioned, not um, too many front-facing features. It's mainly a bug fix update and it had very similar bug fixes that rolled out to the stable versions of Windows 11 throughout the course of this last week. Um, but there is um, one new improvement which has already rolled out to um, Windows 11 version 22H2 which is the stable release. But just to mention this quickly, um, this update provides the full amount of storage capacity of all your OneDrive subscriptions. It also displays the total storage on the accounts page in the settings app, as we can see, and that's already rolled out to the stable channel. Now, if you do want to stick around, um, just to mention some of the um, key highlights from the bug fixes that have been addressed, very similar to what rolled out to the stable channel. And um, the update addresses an issue that affects server message block, SMB. Apparently, you couldn't access the SMB shared folder and the errors were not enough memory resources or insufficient system resources that has been addressed. And the update addresses a memory leak. Apparently, it was occurring um, every time you print a rich text document. That's been fixed. And they've also addressed audio playback issues that were failing on devices that have certain processes. And the update addresses an issue that affects the local security authority subsystem service LSASS. Apparently it stopped working and there's also a NTFS file system stop error fix which is a blue screen of death which has also been fixed now in the beta channel for this week. And just a quick update about the beta channel which I like to do from time to time if you are testing features in the beta channel. The beta channel Microsoft says is the place where they preview experiences that are closer to what they will ship to their general customers, but this does not mean every feature they try out in the beta channel will ship. So just keep that in mind if you are testing features in the beta channel. So that's it for this week. Build 25375 in the Canary channel and 22621 and 22631.1825 for the beta channel insiders. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.